Welcome everybody to the Riot Games Champion Spotlight, featuring Akali, the Fist of Shadow. Akali plays as a ninja assassin, dashing in and out of battles and dealing tons of damage. She's intended to be a hybrid damage slash ability power champion, as her passive gives her bonus damage on attacks depending on ability power, but also gives your spells lifesteal depending on how much damage you've built up. Mark of the Assassin is a great harassing and farming tool, especially if you can trigger the bonus damage by attacking your target. Twilight Shroud is a must-have in larger battles, letting you dart in and out of stealth to stay healthy. Crescent Slash is the main ability I use in this game, which can steal lots of health with your passive and farm minions very quickly. Her ultimate, Shadow Dance, allows you great mobility and a lot of extra damage. I discovered this rune and mastery build after the recorded game, but the build I recommend is Armor Penetration Marks, Dodge Seals, Cooldown Reduction Glyphs, 2 Health Quintessences, and 1 Flat Damage Quintessence. Combined with my Masteries, a 21-9-0 set, building on everything but Critical Strike, I can reach my bonus damage passive with just Doran's Blade. As a quick note, because of the early build used to record this game, not all the icons for Akali were final yet, but I tried to include what I could. At the beginning of the game, I constantly harass Amumu, trying to get him lower and lower with Mark of the Assassin and Crescent Slash. Finally, I dive in and go for First Blood. As we dance around, the energy mechanic gives me enough regeneration to finally take him down. Now, I die in the trade, but because of First Blood, I'm ahead in gold. And you don't gain experience while you're dead, so I'm ahead there as well. After reaching level 6, I fight Amumu again. I use the combo of exploding two marks of the assassin, a crescent slash, ignite, and a shadow dance for the kill. Garen attacks me right after. Mark of the assassin and crescent slash result in tons of damage, and as Dr. Mundo comes to help, I kill him with shadow dance before Garen can kill me with his ultimate. I get caught by my enemies, forcing me to run away but I toss a Twilight Shroud and juke around them to escape. Shen appears and we unleash crazy damage output on Garen with Mark of the Assassin, Crescent Slash, and Shadow Dance. We initiate a battle and I run towards the back hoping to break up their formation. Garen silences me so I try to run out of range and throw Twilight Shroud. This allows me to pick up a Mumu easily, but I get very low. Thankfully, I Shadow Dance to an enemy minion to bring me to safety. Another fight starts with a Mumu's ultimate. I cleanse out, but I get extremely low. So, I Twilight Shroud, run up, and Shadow Dance to the Lizard to get out of range. I enter back in with Shroud, and blow up an enemy with Mark of the Assassin and Crescent Slash. Then, I chug my Elixir of Fortitude and make a stab for the enemy Akali. Shadow Dance keeps me in range as she falls to my tremendous damage output. Our teams do battle again in bottom lane. I dive right into Garen and drop Twilight Shroud, using Mark of the Assassin and Crescent Slash to drop him very, very low. Amumu casts his ultimate, but I cleanse out and score a kill with Shadow Dance and safely escape through the brush to the north. In the aftermath of the battle, Garen comes barreling towards me into the forest. As I cross the brush, I fake him out by tossing Twilight Shroud and heading up instead of to the right towards my base. You can see Garen running around confused as I teleport home. Even if he did find me, I could Shadow Dance to some minions to get away. Here's another fun trick you can pull off with Akali's skills. Garen follows me to my base, and now I know I won't make it past him, so I Twilight Shroud to force the enemy minions forwards. Then, as they push past him, I Shadow Dance to safety, directly behind Garen. Finally, we can see that even without Cleanse, Akali can deal great damage, even while rooted by Amumu. I dive onto the enemy ninja, and through various spell casts, get her extremely low. As I get injured, I disengage and head upwards. But, I Shadow Dance back in to pick up the kill. Thanks for tuning in to the Akali Champion Spotlight. So, get on the fields of justice, because you'll be totally ninja without question.